Hi. Happy Sunday. Let's do our, uh, we're going to do Sunday and Wednesday. I'm going to do a uh, cleansing and card pull. So let's cleanse the air. I'm sure we all need it. It's been a rough week and uh, we're going to get through it. <laughs> we're humans. So we're going to get through this. I hope everybody's having had a good week and having a great day. I tried to put those two together and as you see it kind of oh, I stopped. Hmm, energy's not too bad. Figured I'd do it inside today. I like doing it out of the pond, but um because I like the background noise. Let me know if you do too. I'll do it out there instead of inside. Gotta let it go out by itself because that's how it cleanses all the energy. And you wanna open your window after you do this to release all the negative energy back out into the universe because it gets entrapped within our belongings within our house, within our clothes. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's go all around. Don't know why I made that sound, but hey. Okay, let's do the bowl. I guess it's only no cleansing today. Hmm. Oh no, doesn't want to do it today. Try it one more time. I do have um, pendulum. So let's see. Are we going to be out of this situation soon within the United States? Okay. Straight line is no. Circle is yes. So that would be a no. <laughs> it's not something I would like to say, but. We are in a conundrum in the United States right now. And uh, I, would, I would ask everyone to pray and then pray again and then pray again and meditate every day. Meditate and pray. Meditate and pray. That's my message. With that... I don't know if I went over three, but okay. So let's do it. Wait a second. Knock it out. Any evil energy or negative. Okay. All right. Three cards. Oh, okay. That was fast. Okay. So I don't know who this is for, but let's go with this one first love from your parents no matter what your mother and father love you as much as they can okay i don't know who that's for but isn't that pretty that's a beautiful card i don't know who that's for but maybe for a lot of us they do love us as much as they can they honestly do okay 
love from your parents. So let's see. I did a reading last, and because I uh, put something in there that YouTube did not like, so they slowed it down very slow. So I had to delete it. Um, it was a really good reading. Um, I don't remember it, so I go on spiritual universe gut. And um, so I, I apologize about that, but hey, you know, we're in a free country living in a segregated world. Uh, no matter what, your mother and your father love you as much as they can. This card is telling you that your mother and your father both love you, even though you may not always be able to feel their love. Everyone shows love in different ways. For example, some people show that they care through actions such as giving things or trying. I got that. I think this was one of the cards that was last Sunday. Uh, things or trying to help you. Other people express it through words that they say or write. If your mother and father show you their love in ways that you don't understand, you can talk to them about your feelings. The bond between parents and children can never be broken, never be broken, no matter what. Even during times of anger, parents and children still love each other deep down. Even if they say they don't, they deep down, they love you. If you focus on this love, it grows even stronger and deeper. So focus on the love, not the hate. This love also helps everyone feel better and get along better. If your mother and father are angry with each other, you can still love them both equally. You don't need to take sides. Everyone has something good inside of them after all. God put love within every person, every person. Your love towards both your mother and father in, is always deep and strong even if you don't see one of your parents very much. Focus on what's good about your mother and father to help them. You will be loving as you can be. Okay. Let's do this one. Pets. You love and understand animals. Okay. So this is... Oh, this seems kind of like almost personal to me. Okay. There we go. But I'm sure there's a lot of other healers out there. Um, okay. Animals love you. They know that you understand their special voice and that you respect them and their needs. Your pets especially love you and they really appreciate it when you give them extra time and attention. This card is a message from all animals and your own pets to let you know how much they appreciate you. Oh, spend more time with animals as they help you feel the sense of love that's safe and sweet. That's why we have them as support animals. Animals might almost also help you and, ha and have fun. So take your dog or a neighbor's for a long walk. Pet a kitten, feed some wild birds, or brush your little animal friend. Be sure to give your pet fresh water and food every day. <laughs> I hope you do. This card also suggests that you work with animals, either at school or as a career. I was a groomer and a vet tech, so, um, so I feel like this is almost personal to me. You'd be very happy and good at any work involving studying or helping animals. This card can also be a message from pets who have passed. They want you to know that they are happy in heaven. Oh, this might be for Lauren, for Buddy. And that they will love you very much. Tune in to feel the love from those pets right now and know that you'll love each other forever. Aw. So my girlfriend, uh, her dog, Buddy, his sweet, sweet Buddy, uh, he crossed over the Rainbow Bridge. And uh, so I think that might be for her. <laughs> oh, he was such a sweet boy. 
and I know that she loved him dearly and she's going to miss him. Practice. The best, the, blah, 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 the best way to be good at skilled is to practice, practice, practice until you get it right. There you go. Beautiful card. We got a dancer. She's got a tambourine and the horse is dancing. And it's at night and there's water. And it's just beautiful. Looks like a starry night. Okay, let's see what this message is. And then I'll let you go on your day. Some good reading. Last Sunday's was really good too, but okay. Practice. Do you want to be known? Yeah, let me start over. Do you want to know? <laughs> I got tears in my eyes. Do you know want to know why some people are really good at sports, music, or art? Question mark. They practice these skills a lot. So when you're passionate about something and you want to get something, you'll just keep on doing it until you get it. It's called uh, continual until it becomes a memory and then it becomes automatic. This card is a sign that you need to practice a skill that's important to you so that you can be really good at it as you practice. Some days you'll feel stronger than others, yet you'll notice that your skills improve the more you use them. So have patience with yourself and your teachers. It may take time for you to know how to do something in the best way. Practice really is the best way to improve your skills. It, it really is. You, it, you have what's called muscle memory. So when you keep on practicing something, playing the guitar, piano, uh, you know, watching the ball come at you and hit a ball, it becomes a memory and then it becomes a muscle memory and then it's just automatic. That's how we know how to walk, talk, everything. It's muscle memory. So as you practice, you'll learn new ways and methods. You'll also enjoy yourself more as it gets better and better at your new skill. So whether your dreams is to paint, write, dance, or sing, or do crafts, practice is the one way to make dreams come true. So with that said, have a beautiful Sunday and namaste and wish granted.